So guys, I think we have a problem. A plant problem. Seems like my plants are multiplying. Uh, I just got done water and I got up at 6.30 this morning to water all this stuff in buckets. And what we planted down here in the field so far, not much. I mean, I got 24 amaranths, some zinnias um, and stuff down there planted. I'll come back later on tonight and keep planting some more. So if you guys watch the videos all the way through, usually after we're done mowing, I'm gonna try to come out here and add a little extra of us getting all this ready. Our goal is to have that whole back hedge just full of color. Um, sunflowers all the way in the back, zinnias, amaranth, um, chamomile, wildflowers, everything back there on that berm. And Rachel wants me to add her another strip of plastic to add even more flowers. So, okay, we're gonna get off to go mow. I think we have seven or eight to go mow today, but we'll see you there. Good morning, boss. Good morning. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. It's gonna be a hot one today, guys. It's supposed to be 83 today. I don't know though if it's going to be that warm to be honest with you because it's like cloudy skies. Oh, so, so. I just wanted to let I'm going to respond to a question that I got at 1:45 in the morning last night <laughs> in a text on my phone. Um so whoever actually looked up us after watching the video, I guess they must have gone to our website and looked up my phone number and texted <laughs> me. Um the question was, guys, and if you can text during um regular hours business although it doesn't hours. it doesn't wake me up because my phone's not it is a business phone yeah, so. that was texted but, but we would appreciate if it was during business hours the question <laughs> is um why do we mow the yard twice sometimes if you notice in the videos we mow the yard three or four times okay it just so depends. i think that that's what this was referring to was this the video where i had to fix the stripes it might have been okay I know that I did go over that yard like three or four times, but I am extremely picky. I mow that yard once a week and it's the first yard you see when you're coming up the road. And she didn't like the little curve that she left last yeah. time. So she had to fix her line to be straight. Yes. But normally we do double mow every yard and it doesn't take us longer than it has in past years when we had uh equipment that wasn't as good when i was doing it we're mowing these yards in anywhere from 15 to uh 30 minutes even double mowing every yard yeah even our two acres that we mow with a lot of weed eating we double mow that whole yard too and it takes us two hours to do the whole job i so. also would like to maybe just say something else too um uh -oh. I am very safe on the mower. I know that maybe sometimes there's comments or, you know, like, oh, be safe. I am very safe on the mower. I do go quick, but I know these yards like the back of my hand. Yes. And she's been using that mower for, what, 700 hours now. And yeah. She, she can maneuver that mower in places that most people can't. And, and remember, it is a stand-on. So you know if for any strange reason like if you guys have been watching us you actually saw a couple weeks ago i got myself in a position where i did not feel comfortable to continue on my own and carl was right there you know i started feeling like i was sliding and if i would have gone without the help of his guidance i may have gone a little further down the hill than i wanted to so i stopped you guys saw and he came up and helped me and i fixed it um but if he wasn't there and i felt myself going down that hill i would jump off the mower yeah my life is absolutely worth a whole lot more than a mower than falling a mower. down the mountain or off a wall so, um, that's the bonus of having standards a sit down one you guys are trapped you, you're not jump. I mean, you're not jumping off a sit down mower as fast as you are a stand on. Yeah. Um, or a walk behind. No matter who you are, you're not getting off that. I mower mean, a that walk, fast. a walk behind, you could just right? jump off. You yeah, could, yeah, walk behind and a stander. You can just jump right off and let it tumble down the mountain. But um, that's why they tell you to use um, walk behind mowers yeah. in the mountains. Yeah. You know, like our mowers are not really made for that for the steep of grades that we mow. Mm -hmm. I don't think, no. but. Um, they handle it and they handle it well. And again, we are very aware always. Very I mean, safe. 
Yeah. So, for the most part. But I thank did, you I for did get, everybody who is concerned. Yes, and, I did get called out because when I was cutting the concrete, I should have had a mask on, guys. You, you guys know, are right. Like, I should have had a mask on. And Rachel said something when I was making the video. And I said, yeah, you're right. I was being lazy. It was really cold and windy. Mm -hmm. But I should have had a mask on. Yeah. So there's no excuse. Next time if I cut concrete, I'll wear a mask. Yes. So let's get out and do our first one. We only have like six or seven to do today. Oh, yeah. and guess what, guys? We weren't taking on any more lawns, but <laughs> the boss added another one. Um, it's in our small development in Asheville. It's right across from everybody else we mow. And we did bump up the price on that one. Probably It's probably $10 more than our any of them in there but those are clients that we've had for a long time so and it's a little bit bigger yeah it's a it, corner lot yeah, it's so. A corner lot, so okay So we're done this one. Rachel's blowing off over there. It's all that, all that front yard you guys seen, all this and all that. So boss. Yes. We're done that one. Yes. Did you double mow that one? Yes, I did double mow. How long do you think it took us to do that yard? You um, guys seen how big it was. Actually, the, the back of the one, I went over three times because I cut it short and um, it left because it was taking so much off and I went a different direction so I wanted to go over that different direction twice so I went over the back three times so how long did it take us 30 minutes 30 minutes for two properties and that pro them two properties I'll tell you we get a hundred dollars for yeah and they actually wanted to give us more this year yeah right? we told them but no. so the reason we double mow everything is it makes our clients happy. The yards look really good. Mm -hmm. And it helps us not have turnaround, I believe. The fact that we leave the yards that good, 95% of our clients now have been with us for more than three years. Oh, yeah. For sure. Maybe even more. I'll have to figure out what the average is. But that's why we don't usually lose a client. Yeah. I actually think that our newest client has probably been with us because they're three years now. Oh, yeah. So our newest clients been three years. So yeah, I think our newest clients have been like three years. Yeah. I, I can't really, maybe we have one that's two. Yeah, maybe one or two, so. so. But that's why we double mow everything. And we do make we do make our hourly rate double mowing, so. Yeah, we're just double checking them right now. Yes. Because like we said um, in a previous video, we are very happy with our clients now. So we just want to make sure that we are absolutely dialed in and we are getting what, what we deserve. Yeah, so let's get off to the next. Well, here's the next two. Um, you can definitely tell that we need more rain. It hasn't put on much growth at all. But we're still going to mow it. It's a weekly, right? Yeah, well, we got cold too. Yeah, and then pe the people next door are back the weekly now. For now. So Rachel's got to mow that one.
So we finished both of these yards in 30 minutes and I think the boss might have went the other way because she's tired of me showing my stripes and not hers. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I went this way and then I crossed my path. That's the first time I gone that way. And then I went back the other way for my second pass. But here, here you go. The boss got some nice stripes over here. And, and that's mowing at three, right? Yeah, because they want it's it. It's all weeds. It's all weeds. But we're going to talk to him about fixing that lawn. So, off to the next one. So, I'm going to take notice tonight. Do you guys know, do ice flowers open and close? Because these were not open this morning when I came out here. But I don't remember any being open yesterday, last night, either. So, we'll see what happens. Look at all the peppers. Yeah. All the strawberries. Okay, let's go back to work, boss. So here's the next one. Hopefully we can mow that area over there, but you guys will see afterwards. I'll show you an after. Hopefully the boss doesn't have to mud bog again. Yeah, but, hopefully not. Right? I hope not. It's hot. Oh man, it's sunny out here. Yeah, it is. Look guys, Rachel was finally able to mow that. Still a little muddy. So there you guys go. I striped the front. And Rachel did the back, as you can see. She was able to do it two ways. You could probably see it better back there, but that's nice. Um, I'll have to see how long it took us. Nice, this is the next one. I don't remember how long. I'm gonna check and figure out the time on this one. But we're done this, off to the next. So this one took us about 29 minutes. The last one took us 28 minutes. Are you listening to Dance Monkey? Yeah. I like that song. I had to pause it so that I could listen to it while I'm mowing. So we're on the last one for the day and we should be done before five o'clock. Nice. And be back at the house so then we can do some farming. I gotta plant some more plants. Yeah, it got warm today. Yeah, it did. It's 83 degrees, I think. But yeah. we're gonna get out and mow this and I'll show you an after. All right. Let's go, boss. Rachel's finishing up down there. On this one, it took us 20 minutes when she's done blowing off. And we are done. That was a hard day of work. I am tired. Yeah, it was hot. When it gets above 82 degrees, well, I'll say 80. I like it better when we're mowing in the 60s. 82 is so, like, <laughs> specific, buddy. <laughs> the whole lower half of the state and upper Midwest is saying 82, man. It gets up to 92, 102. I, I think I've seen some people out in the West were up to almost 90 degrees already. Yeah, well, especially Jay and Christina, they're telling you to stop crying like a baby. I think they were in the heat every day. <laughs> but we give you guys credit. We're, we're babies when it comes to anything like too cold or too hot. Yeah. 
I mean, we'll work if we have to. We just, it just stinks to work all day in like 90 plus degree weather. But we've been doing it for 10, 12 years now. So might yeah. as well keep doing it, right? Now, Carl's been doing a little bit better this year about being more like a farmer and getting up at the crack of dawn. Oh, yeah. I was up at 6.30 this morning watering all my bucket plants. Only because I don't want them to die. So, yeah. and then I've started planting a berm. But you guys, if you keep watching after our ending, you'll see some more of that done and some stuff on the farm. That's the bonus for watching it all the way through to the end. Oh, look at that. You guys so. get a bonus to watch it all the way through. That's more than what Carl gets. Really? <laughs> okay. It's been five years, guys. I haven't gotten a bonus. No bonus. Aren't I? Isn't the bonus to have me work with you every single day? For me, it is. For some <laughs> people, they'd be like, no, no, no. I can't work with my wife. But I can work with you. We we no. work very well together. You guys just have to make it work, you yeah. know? Um, You just have to always think. And even if it's not husband and wife and it's just two people... You know, the, you all have the same goal in mind to get the lawn done the most efficient and the nicest, you know. And but, I, but I will say, if a husband and wife can make it work and get through it, I think it's the most profitable combination in this business if you're doing it with two people. Right. Um, all the income stays in the family, stays with you. Mm -hmm. um, that's how you can be more profitable. Yeah. So. Well, so anyway. thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell so and that you know when we upload videos. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. Okay, guys. I'm back out here in the garden. Things are looking good. Look, this is the petunias we started from seed. We already have a petunia flower on it. Um... So I'm going to go plant some more of this stuff out there into the garden. Look, these are our blanket flowers. So everything looks good. The only... Oh, man. So I water these every morning, and they just... I don't know. They seem like they don't... They dry up quick. If any of you guys have had a garden with pots, um, how often do you water them when it's above 80? So far, everything looks good, but I'm thinking, look. So far, everything looks good, but I think if we get any higher than like 82, 83, I might have to water them in the evening too. Look, here's all the blueberries. Nice. Yeah, see, they seem... They dry out quick. These are dry. Look at all the peaches. Look how nice it is out here today, guys. So I came out here to check and see how these are doing. These are ones we transplanted the other day. Look, they have amaranth flowers on them. See, these pots are dry. So I need to get them definitely more water, but I'm going to be planting them in the ground. I did get down here planted in. So I made it all the way from this way. And I got to here planted. Any flowers opening yet? Nope. And nothing came out here in 8D so far, so that's a good thing. Um, we have deer that come through here, and they like to eat things, like especially my tomato plants. And then now it's the season where it's gnats out here like crazy. So what I'm going to do is continue planting down there. Um, so in between the zinnias, we're putting the chamomile right here. And then I think in between these zinnias, I'm going to put a mix of cosmos and some other wildflowers there and then all along the back here i'm going to cut holes and we're going to put giant sunflowers back there so this will be the backdrop of this will be giant sunflowers so if everything goes good and it all grows nice it's going to be zinnia this is going to be a whole wall of zinnias cosmos chamomile um what else sunflowers all kinds of flowers back here and even when the sun goes down here it's kind of on a hill here 
So this stuff will still get sun even if I have six, eight, ten foot sunflowers along here. The only thing I'm worried about is we get some high winds and I don't want my sunflowers to get knocked down. So, okay, let's get some of this done.